as I watched the first episode, I was reminded that for you as actors playing his, playing historic figures like Lincoln and Booth, no doubt requires a deep dive into research. So can you each share some insights into your process for getting into the mindset of these historic figures? Uh, yeah, I, I, I had this wonderful team of uh, makeup artists, this beautiful costume that was uh, built for me, uh, wonderful sort of coaches around voice and walking and stuff like that. It was just a real wonderful team of, uh, of, of people who, who sort of uh, helped make the guy. Uh, and then, yeah, you got to read and read and read, too. And then try to forget uh, how splendid Daniel Day-Lewis already was in the role. And Anthony, would you like to add to that? Yeah, um, I was very lucky that I had um, access to a lot of the letters that Booth had written from the ages of 15 to the 26. And, you know, when he's 15, he's he's uh, he's quite rambunctious. He's like a, a wayward kind of kid. He's mooning people at fairs. He's getting up to mischief. When he's 20, he starts to get a bit violent. Um, and then by the time he's 23, so this is 1862, he's starting to say things like, uh, the black man is enslaving the white man in America. He's starting to, this, this sort of racist ideology is really taking hold of him. Um, and through reading these letters, I got to see this real sort of descent into madness. Um, so that was, that was great for me in, in terms of research to have these letters. And it wasn't just conjecture. It wasn't just the author saying, I felt Booth would have thought this. You had his actual letters, his interactions between his friends and family. And that was a great thing to, to draw upon. And Anthony, a follow-up question for you. What were some of the most challenging or emotionally demanding scenes for you to film as Booth? And how did you prepare to tackle those moments? Um, the most emotional stuff was probably in the barn in, in the end. You know, there was two days of him sort of broken leg. He's, he's, a, he's a rat caught in a trap. Um, he's, 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 he's dying, but he's sort of rebelling against. Um, I don't know if you can really prepare for that stuff. You just got to throw yourself into it head first and just, you know, try and just try and put yourself in his shoes um, as much as possible and just sort of let it fly. And I do have a follow-up question for um, Hamish. What do you hope viewers will learn or appreciate about this era and its impact on Amer American history through your Lincoln portrayal and the overall storyline? Well, I think it's a story we think we know, and uh, and 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 we simply don't, uh, or at least I didn't. I don't know how many people know that this was a coordinated attempt to take down the government and reverse the results of the Civil War. Uh, that's that's what this young actor was participating in. I mean, it, it was such a terribly perilous moment in our country's history, and and we sort of dodged a totally terrible fate by the skin of our teeth. And that's what the series does.